Hello guys, how are you doing? So, welcome back to my reactions, and as you can see I'm going to be watching episode 12 of the second season of Overlord today. So, last episode was really crazy, we got to see Sibas facing those, uh, the remaining 5 guys of those 6 arms, and it was like so easy for him to defeat them, it just blew their heads and that was it basically, they were just like looking down on him and not really seeing him as a strong guy. And it just they just like pay the price with their own lives. So that was basically it. Um, as I saw, or or at least I believe so, they managed to to save uh, Tuare. And now we are basically in in another place in like near some mansion. And they kind of like uh, kidnapped some some girl from there. I didn't really realize who it was. I don't know if it was uh, someone who appeared before. But yeah, it happened, and we also saw this, uh, I believe she was a, a combat mate, and she was like really creepy, I mean she was basically using these insects a a as her like weapon and shield, it, it was like really creepy, and and she looked really strong as well, I mean, she was able to to put a fight with, uh, with, with those Blue Rose members. Uh, but then this this evil eye, she appeared and she had like this perfect counter to her, like the insecticides, and she had much more trouble. And that's when Demiurge appears, and yeah, this guy is really out of their league, he's really powerful, probably one of the strongest guardians. And he was, I don't exactly know if he killed those Blue Rose members, I, I don't want to believe that it happened, they're probably just like really injured. Um, and then there was like just Momon uh, appearing and and stopping their combat, and now he has he is like deciding who is who is going to fight basically. So I had like this theory that he's going to be facing Demiurge because of his reputation. Uh, so he it doesn't look like he's fighting someone from that city uh, since he's like so like. Is seen as a good person uh, for uh, like for people in that city. So if he faced a, a evil eye and if he sided with Demiurge, and someone from the city saw, it wouldn't be good for him. But I don't know if it's, it's exactly that who's that's going to like trigger his decision to fight Demiurge. I don't even know if they're going to fight for real or not, since we see that there's this like they're not uh, really making these decisions. Uh, Together, they're not like really accepting uh, the decisions of each of each other, and it's mostly like a Demiurge not accepting the fact that um, Momon is willing to help a human. So yeah, it's going to be nice to to see how this how this goes and what's going to fully happen between them. Like what's going to be the outcome of this fight and how are are they going to be with, with each other at the end? Anyway, really curious to see. What's going to happen? So I hope you guys are ready, and let's start the episode. Hmm. Is that the made up name? We saw it in the previous episode. So they're just pretending. Um <laughs> um
So they're really just like pretending to be enemies. But they're probably going to fight for real, like a practice. What? She likes him. <laughs> Man, they almost messed up by calling him Demiurge. It's basically happening what I was like guessing before. They're basically just going to pretend that they're enemies. So they look like... So Momon looks like a good person as he, he is. In the eyes of everyone in that city. But they're probably going to fight for real, I mean... They're not gonna hold back just because it's a... Just a pretend fight. Well, I guess the fight in the, in the opening, as I explained at least... I was always wondering what would... Uh, be the reason for them to fight. It's actually actually quite sad that this opening spoils so much of what happens during the season. I think the openings should only like spoil something from the first episode or so. I feel like in this in this Overlord anime at least it's pretty it happens a lot, uh, that the opening spells just too much. Oh, she's there. What's wrong with her, though? Something is wrong with her. Did he do something? Like the other guys? There's something about her. Oh, it's this one. It's probably the main one. Yeah, I had the idea it was uh, the five remaining, but it was just four. Zero wasn't there. So it's like the last one. Yeah, sure. That's so going to happen. I don't brain fight him alone, to be honest. And defeat him. What is wrong with Warren? Whoa! Oh, he's not Ware! I mean, she is not Ware. Oh, it's this guy. So where is Suare? Damn. Hmm. Oh, it attacks the real one. Oh, it uses a lot of those things. Shh. 
Damn. Okay, that must have... How is he fighting with his fists? With a sword, like... I mean, they mentioned his fists were hard, but... Damn. Oh. Hmm. Other Sebas. <laughs> Isn't with the others. Yeah, about that. Well, it is. Yeah. You already found her? Oh, nice. Oh, there she is. She's so adorable. Where was she anyway? Yeah, good luck with that. Oh no. Damn! That's really fancy, but it's really not going to work. He didn't even move. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, you can't do anything about Sebas. Just like that. Just crush his head. It was? <laughs> yeah, sure, let's go with that. <laughs> Only them. You're going back to this fight. Can't it be nice to see what Demiurge can do? What the? She's enjoying this. <laughs> Damn. Yep. What is he going to do? Oh, he's going to live. Damn.
Yeah. Oh, the other two. Yeah. They're not. <laughs> nope. Damn, this tension. And now they holy shit. <laughs> Yes. Um. <laughs> oh no. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, exactly. She needs to behave a bit too. Oh, really? <laughs> I love when these moments happen. Yeah, you can't look friendly to him, in front of her at least. <laughs> Wait, they actually died? What's happening? I mean, they looked like they were dead, but... Oh, okay. Black Hughes. Damn. Well, yeah, a spell, a spell like that should be hard to use. Him.
Hmm. <laughs> A reaction. Wait, why is the... Is that Demiurge doing his thing? Why is the ending playing so soon? Oh. Something big is about to happen. I did a lot. This season was a lot about Sabus. That's fire though, that's probably Demiurge doing his thing. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, it's a demiurge. What is he trying to do anyway? And he was looking after an item, but is that actually true? None of you are like a match name, probably. Even them all together. They have moment. Yep. Just another step to gain popularity in that city. I mean, it's probably going to be everything between Momon and Demiurge. The others won't be able to do much. Oh yeah, there's people inside. Kinda wonder what Demiurge is trying to do. Is he still like a pretending thing or is he really after something? That's really nice that they're seeking together. Yeah, especially climb, right? What's that ring? Damn. 
Hmm. We need to see a bit of Ten. Holy shit. She is really doing something to be with him. She has that face. <laughs> Damn. She looks really cool. Elimination. Oh, it's all the combat maids as well. Except Nave. Trump card. Damn. Can't wait to watch the next episode. I mean, it's the last one of this season, so... Some things are going to to end in the next episode. And I'm really curious to see how this uh, whole fight is going to end. Like, it still looks like he's like pretending and they're just like doing this to, um, as a way to make uh, Momon like recognize a lot in that city, like the savior of that city almost. Uh, but yeah, I believe Demiurge is still going to fight for real and the other maids are, uh, are also going to take part on that. And it's going to be insane to watch all of this and to be able to watch uh, like uh, all of these different characters fighting at the same time is going to be really cool. Anyway, this girl is really crazy, the, the princess. Holy shit, she just wants to, to do everything she can to have a reason to be near climb. Like she just wants to create a, a reason so others don't like um, judge her just because she's with climb so she found this way out as a way for people to accept that she needs to be like close to climb like treating him after someone casts a resurrection spell so she's basically sending climb to his own death just wanting him to be revived and get getting like weak so she she can like treat him and be like close to him for a long time so that's like a really sick mentality but we'll see how it ends uh, hopefully nothing bad happens to Climb, but we'll see what happens in the next episode. Anyway, this season has been pretty awesome, and we saw lots of action as well. And it had a, a lot of these things uh, about Sibas. Like, Sibas was a big part of this season, and all of the situation between him and Tuare. And I really enjoyed uh, this part to see, like, his... Not, like, human side, but how he... He doesn't hate humans like the other ones do, like the other guardians and the battle mates and all of that. So yeah, it was really awesome to see that. And Sipas is is one of my favorites, like for sure. He's a really cool guy, and he's also insanely strong. I mean, he defeated. Uh, was it all or? I don't remember who defeated the first uh, guy of the six arms. Oh, it was Brain, right? Brain defeated the first guy of the six arms. And Sibas defeated the other five, and it was just like so easy. Like they couldn't even match him, and he was like mentioning mentioning when he defeated Zero that uh, he, he was like just slightly stronger. And yeah, that slightly was kind of kind of weird, but yeah, it, like it wasn't even like close. He just took it, probably the strongest uh, hit from from Zero, like it was nothing. He didn't even move. And then he just like crushed his head with with his foot. So 
That was pretty sick, and I really loved it. Uh, so yeah, this was a, a really cool episode. I hope they somehow managed to revive those Blue Rose members. I, like, when I saw them laying in the ground, I had the idea that they were just like injured and like knocked out. But not actually dead, but they actually died. And I was like, not entirely surprised, but still a bit. Uh, but yeah, now I'm just hoping that they manage to revive them. Uh, I don't know how that's going to work. Like, they need that leader of the Blue Rose to do that. But yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, next episode is the last of the season, as I mentioned. And it's probably going to be big. So I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this one. And if you did, please like and subscribe to the channel. And you can also join my Discord and my Patreon if you want to get early access to my full reactions. So yeah. I'll see you guys in the next episode, the final one. So, see ya!